everybody welcome back to my channel so today is really exciting it's a video that I look forward to doing seriously all year round today's video is my first Christmas decorating video of 2024 I'm so happy with how it turned out I can kind of see the area right now and I I just love it I really love how it turned out I hope you guys love it as much as I do I went very traditional very traditional colors and real quick, I don't want to take up too much time, but if you are new, hi, my name is Lauren. I do videos about decorating, a lot of seasonal decorating, budget-friendly decor, thrifting, sometimes decluttering and cleaning. So no pressure, but if you like today's video, if you like the Christmas decorating, I would love for you to subscribe. It's totally free. It'll just notify you whenever I post a new video. And yeah, I guess let's just get on into the decorating. Okay, so we are starting off in the kitchen. I completely cleaned it. I took down the fall decor. I just wanted a clean, fresh slate to begin decorating. Um, let's see, I want to hang Santa mugs up here. I'm just trying to figure out which ones would look best together. I know I want to hang this one because this one's one of my favorites. I actually got this one at a thrift store a few years ago. So we're going to hang him up. This is my current favorite mug to drink out of. So I'm not going to hang this one up. This is a Target one from a few years ago. And honestly, it's just not the cutest. So I'm not going to hang that one up. I think I'm going to do this one with the gingerbread in the middle. And then maybe that one or that one hanging up. And then this guy, I think I'm gonna fill with like candy canes and stuff. So let's get into it. Yay, I really like that. Wow, that made a big statement. That's just one of those really cheap ones from Walmart that are like 99 cents. Now I did want to show these because I thought they were so pretty. I didn't get a ton of new Christmas decor this year. Pretty much everything in the kitchen I already owned. However, I found these at Michael's and I thought they were gorgeous. I don't really think they fit that well in the kitchen though, so I do think I'm going to end up using those in the living room. Every year I usually get these same exact stirs. The white chocolate one with the peppermint are the best. I don't want to try it in here though, but it is a little tall, so I think I'm going to put some paper towels at the bottom to kind of push them up a little bit. really good for now. Okay, I'm gonna leave it and move on. Now I'm sure you've heard this before, but one of my favorite kitchen decorating tips is to use cutting boards as decor because they're functional, but they also add a little bit of interest without taking up too much counter space. And all the stores have really good ones like Christmas trees, gingerbread man, uh, pumpkins and I like to personally put them up and then layer them with different items in front so another new item I got this year is this Santa cookie jar it was only $20 at Michaels and it is huge so I love that and then here I was trying to figure out what to do because the top looked a little empty and I felt like it was missing something so I did decide to add a bow and I know I mentioned this in last year's Christmas decorating video but if you ever feel like a space looks incomplete try adding a bow or twinkly lights and it always makes it look better. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, let's move on. Okay, quick check-in. This is what we're working with so far and we're gonna move on over to that area. Okay. 
you guys ever need Christmas books or just some color added to your kitchen, thrift, thrift, thrift. These are from Goodwill. There's always so many Christmas Southern living books. Every time I go there, you can use them just for the spine or like the recipes or just add some color. It's perfect. And I think they were like a dollar each. So I'm just gonna put them right here just to add a pop of red. Okay, I am a yapper, so there are a few parts of this video video where you can see that I'm clearly talking, but I ended up just having to fast forward it because I talk forever. But basically I was saying, I was just trying to figure out what bow I wanted here. I have a lot of these really long, pretty bows that I used last year on my mantle and my staircase. However, they don't really fit the vibe of the kitchen. I really wanted the kitchen to be a little bit more fun. So I found these big bows at Target for $5. They're really great quality and I feel like it fits perfectly. Okay, so I had one of these garlands that's from a few years ago, and like every time I touch it, a bunch of pieces fall off of it. It's so frustrating. I think it was from Home Goods a few years ago. It looks like, see, some more just fell off. Nice. This one. And then I have this one I really like from Hobby Lobby this year. Uh, it wasn't that full though, and one of them is nine foot and one is six. So I wrapped the two together to try and give it like a little bit more texture. So this is two separate garlands and also that one is just like irritating me. I'm gonna hang it up and then I'm gonna go in and like stick those in any sparse spots. So I'm gonna hang that up now. I already put this command type up here that's kind of meant for garland. It's perfect, I'll have it linked down below. Hmm. area like that in a garland you can also just buy a pick from like Hobby Lobby or whatever and kind of stick it in there and make it look a little more realistic so I'm gonna play around with that I also have some twinkly lights that I'm gonna add in and because I want the kitchen to be a little bit more playful it's definitely the most like playful animated room I did get this garland that I might add we'll see if it's too much I kind of want it to be too much in here though. I want it to be really fun because in the living room I do it a little bit more like classy and traditional. So let's get into it. Last year also I put one of these really long bows up in that corner, but I don't think I'm going to this year. I think I'm just gonna use that garland. That would be a little too much. With boughs of holly, la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel, la 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol, la la la. Blazing, you'll be for us. La, 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 la. 
Okay, can't tell if this angle is really cool or inconvenient, but I have you guys next to the wreath <laughs> that's hung above the stove. I don't know. We're just trying out different angles today, I suppose. I bought this floral wire from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. It was $3.99 for this huge thing. I'll never use this much, but it's perfect. Uh, you can use it for ornaments. You can use it to hang stuff on garlands. I mean, literally anything. And so I was looking and I feel like if I hung this up, that candy cane would be way up there. So what I'm gonna do is take a little floral wire and use that to kind of get it up where I want it without it being so into the garland. Deck the halls with bells of olive. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. La 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 la. Oh wow, I love it. That was the most difficult. Part. Um, it definitely took a while, but I think it looks so good. Okay, ignore that. I want the Santa mugs that I'm not putting up, I want to wash them so that I can actually drink out of them. But this area kind of is stumping me. I don't really know what to put here. I think I'm just going to go simple. I have this tree. I've had this for years, like four or five years. I wanna say it was from Target, like 2018. I'm thinking, just put that there. I also have a candle. It's a fall candle, um, but she'll do. And then I have this little wreath thing. This is, I've had this for so many years, like one of our first apartments. I wanna say I've had it since like 2016. It was a wreath, but what I've been doing with it every year is fits perfectly around this candle. So I'm like, maybe I just do, just do that and call it a day, keep it simple. Okay, so it is the next day. I was a little burnt out yesterday. I had to stop. I felt like there was, I wasn't feeling the Christmas spirit anymore. But I love how everything looks except this spot. And there's a few more areas around the kitchen I wanna decorate, but I don't know, this just doesn't fit. I think because it's flocked and everything else isn't flocked, I don't know, I just didn't love it. But. I went out to my Christmas bins and I found this one that I have from last year. It's a little flocked, but I really like it because it has more greenery. It's a little more like realistic looking how the snow is. And I thought this would be a little prettier. And then I also have this white utensil holder, which I think part of the problem too is it was feeling really dark over here. So this white will kind of connect to all the Santas and everything else on the other side of the kitchen. This is a utensil holder, but this fits perfectly in there. So I'm gonna do that. And then, because it was missing something, I found one of these red bows that I just used on my Christmas tree last year. And I'm gonna put that right here. I think it looks way better. I'm still undecided about this guy. So I think I'm just gonna put this white tree here and step away. This area is done. are my absolute favorite. My mom got them for me off 
or for my birthday a couple years ago. I'll have a link down below because I tried a few and sent them back to Amazon before finding these and I love them. And they have different colors. Yay, that worked. Okay, I'll show you guys how I did it. Okay, if you're wondering how I hung this up, I'm taking this, okay, and I'm cutting a tiny little hole in it, like, like that, and then I'm gonna take an ornament hook and put it through here, like that, and then because these are like bamboo shades, they have little slots in them, so I'm actually gonna loop around and put it in a slot. I'll see if I can give you guys a close-up. Let me do a close-up to show you guys. See this little hook? I'm gonna hook it through the back. Like I would go through these lines right here and hook it. But I'm gonna do that in the center. Just gonna stick it through one of these openings right here and then push it in so it doesn't. That's the right height. And now I'm just gonna stick it through one of these openings right here and then push it in. So it's Can you see that? It doesn't damage the um, slots or anything, but it just hooks it so that it stays put. Now, if you've ever wondered how people get those perfect ends of the ribbon, so I'm gonna cut it to the length I want it, and then all you do is you fold it in half, and then you're gonna cut like this, like a triangle. So then when you open it, the end of that ribbon will have that really pretty cut out. I wasn't going to decorate these doors and now this might be my favorite part of the whole kitchen. Wow. Oh my gosh. I love it. <gasps> yeah, that's my favorite part. Wow. And the ribbon is so cheap. You could get ribbon anywhere. Those were thrifted at a thrift store, but just get the cheapest wreaths you can find. And you can do this on your windows, your doors, your pantry door, closets, whatever. It looks so good. Okay, so after staring at this all day, I was like, it's missing something. Oop. Because now the angle you guys are at is not a good angle. This is what you would see if you were like four feet tall. So up here at my height, you don't see, um, thankfully, all of that stuff. But I still can see this. So I remembered last year I actually had all of these little bows. They're just cream bows like little cream velvet bows. And I think I just did something really simple. I just kind of placed the bows like that. And it just added a little something and it also kind of hides the silver part a little bit. I don't know, I just felt like it needed something and a red bow was too much going on. But I do remember that I liked doing this last year. So I'm gonna add these in. So we're gonna go out to the land of Christmas decor. It is super unorganized right now because I have just been like going through it like a raccoon trying to find things. This is from mine and my husband's first apartment. Not really my style anymore, but I got them from the Christmas tree shop. They had one where we lived um, in West Virginia. We had to live there for a year with my husband's job. I don't know, they just bring back memories. So I don't wanna get rid of them, but they definitely don't fit in with the rest of the kitchen. It's funny all the styles of decor I've gone through over the years, because then I also have like these placemats that um, one year when I wanted the kitchen to be like a little more fancy. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I know I've told this story before, but I'll say it again. Um, so this right here, I'll never get rid of this. This is just like um, a plastic looking fireplace. So, okay, I decided to prop you guys up so you could see me while I tell this story. I feel like a little self-conscious right now though. I'm like glistening with sweat because I've been doing 
um, two different filming two different videos today. But anyways, me and my husband love Christmas decor. He like I thought that I was a Christmas fanatic and then I met him. We it's funny because we listen to like Christmas music all year round. Funny enough, like a couple weeks ago, the beginning of October, he was like, if you want to decorate for Christmas now, you can. Like you don't have to wait for Halloween. Like he loves Christmas decor. So that's something we bonded over in our early dating years. So in 2015, we had been living together for like eight months or so, nine months. And it was coming up on our first Christmas and first Thanksgiving in our apartment. We didn't have any Christmas decor because it was our first time living together. And um, one day I came home from work and I walk in the front door and I like jump back because our apartment is decorated like a winter wonderland. There is a fireplace, like a fake fireplace on the TV. He has that plastic fireplace set up in, there was a certain part in our apartment where a dining room was supposed to go, but we didn't have a table yet. So he had that on the wall so you could see like the fake fireplace. And then he had bought, he had bought all these decorations on his own. We didn't own any. He bought so many Christmas decorations. When I tell you, Christmas lights and decor everywhere. There were Christmas pillows, Christmas blankets. There was a Christmas tree, ornaments. He had decorated. He had bought a Christmas bear that had 2015 on the foot so that like I could remember the year. There was that fireplace. He even took Christmas lights and strung them around the edge, like the ceiling, like the crown molding of the whole apartment. Like the whole apartment was covered in Christmas lights. So I walk in after work and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I walk in further into the apartment and I'm like, James, what in the world? And he's kind of like coming up behind me. And I'm like, this looks amazing. And then I hear him say, there's one more surprise. And I turn around and he's down on one knee and that's how he proposed to me. So <laughs> it like gives me chills when I even think about it. It was just perfect. Um, I'm obviously like extremely extroverted. My husband is very introverted. So I always knew like for a proposal, he, we would want to do something more private, just the two of us. It couldn't have been more us and more perfect. It was amazing, and he did it the day before Thanksgiving, so it was really nice because we both had off work the next couple days. We got to go around to all our families and like show them the ring and talk, but all that to say, this is the fireplace that he had set up. I kept like everything. Um, from back then that he had set up but yeah it's just a little story about about us